thank you for being part of this video i welcome all of you i am here in gililaya denmark uh, beautiful weather the husband took the kids to the beach uh, it is nice and quiet and um, the goal uh, uh, is to continue buying land and um, growing future trees and vegetables as we go but since we haven't secured this one yet we need to wait with that but that is not stopping us we have already started uh, planting uh, seedlings uh, at our seedling site because we have moved a lot of the future trees to our farmland um, the, the transferring of the seedlings to the farmland uh, goes through different uh, uh, process uh, finding the people, um, planning, transportation, communication, you name it. There's so much that uh, needs to be done, but it is it was successful. It was uh, it was done within two days, and uh, I am very pleased with the work. We have used two methods of uh, securing the, the 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 trees, and we haven't used it in all of the trees because they are not all endangered by animals so um, uh, for example we have secured the mango tree uh, and the ones that we haven't secured is more of the lime the lemon the coconut because it's not endangered by um, the animals we have used uh, uh, fish as our fertilize, uh, fertilizer so what we, we dug and we put fish underneath before putting the, the tree the future tree the space between the trees, we have used five, uh, five meters apart from each tree to each tree. And from the wall to the beginning of the, uh, any tree is, um, is two meters in order to create that wall. The, walk, the work was hard and uh, food, uh, other things were provided during that. We sat down uh, actually quite a lot to, to really plan um, how we were going to, um, to to structure all the plants and the trees that we have moved uh, from the seedling site to the farm, uh, like Mariama just explained. And uh, it took quite a while to uh, to try to uh, to map, to draw um, how our plot uh, is situated in in the landscape. So. The, the terrain, how it, it, it's going, how it's declining and, and growing and stuff, how the, the water will come, where's the roads, the logistics, where might people walk by, where should the walls be, the gates and so on. And uh, taking all that into account, we, we, we drew, drew uh, more or less a complete map of all where we imagine buildings to be, where we imagine the trees to be. And we were thinking in the, in the, in the concepts of quite straight lines, no, it's not so much to make it very, uh, you know, industrial, but more to have uh, aesthetics to make it look nice. So you have nice clarity when you're looking out. You can you can see through. You can see straight. You have a better overview in the green and in the more dry periods. Also, we wanted to uh, to place the different plant uh, types together. So not all mixed all all over, but in groups together. So, for example, all the limes and the citrus, uh, citrus uh, uh, trees together, so that when you are working on the lime and the orange and the mandarin trees, you kind of uh, gain that experience and that knowledge and expertise at the same place, instead of having to walk a long time for the next one, next one, and you, it's harder to compare and uh, improve and optimize what you get out of the trees because we have uh, quite a few different sorts of trees. They're very, very different trees that they look different, they grow different, uh, they have different heights and density. And so the whole way they need to be treated uh, and optimized is quite different. So we wanted to, to group them nicely, situated well in the landscape. And at the same time also, of course, protecting them from the wildlife until our walls around the, our gates and the walls around the land is fully, uh, fully established. I just want to say thank you to those that have really stood up and worked hard in order to see all of this to come through. And also we have had locals that uh, locals from that village that we are working on that have come
come as a uh, as a support to what we are doing. When the the time to farm uh, w uh, people or workers were transporting these trees, um, a lot of demand for uh, coconut trees were asked. People were asking uh, how to get it or can they get it from us and stuff. And uh, just encouraging anyone who is there who is growing these trees to grow more of these trees uh, uh, as a future um, uh, help for our future generation. Thank you for being part of this video. I hope this video was um, helpful. We are just starting and uh, this seems fun, uh, exciting and part of the meaning of uh, life and what we can um, uh, bring, um, uh, what we can also contribute to. Till then, thank you so much for being part of this video. Bye-bye. Time to file.